Judy Garland singing three of the best-known songs from her TV and concert repertoire. From the moment I saw him, I fell. Chug, 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 went the motor. But the first time she sang these songs was many years earlier on a sound stage at MGM. MGM was in his heyday, and Vincent Minnelli was directing his future bride, Judy Garland, in a work that was to become an American classic. But Freed had a little trouble convincing Judy to take part in the movie. Edgar, he's out there. John Hughes on the porch. And Judy Hughes. was reluctant to play the boy crazy Esther. She felt the character was too juvenile. She was now 21 and already separated from her first husband, David Rose. At this point in her career, she'd played several adult roles and didn't want to go back to playing a teenager. She didn't want to do it at the beginning. She was advised not to do it by other people. But my father convinced her. And uh, I think it was one of the better things that she did. Garland would later say that the role of Esther was one of the favorites of her entire career. Thanks, no doubt, in large measure, to the man who directed her and also fell in love with her, Vincent Minnelli. Liza Minnelli, in a 1987 documentary, Describe how her father expressed his love using the camera. This is the first picture my father and mother did together. It's also the first one in which she said she felt beautiful on the screen. In the beginning, she hadn't wanted to make Meet Me in St. Louis. Before it was finished, she loved it. And the director who expressed his feelings for her in every shot. Mr. Manelli was the kind, understanding, patient person that Judy needed. Within a year of the release of Meet Me in St. Louis, Judy Garland and Vincent Manelli were married. A year after the wedding, their daughter, Liza, was born. I think he showed her such respect that uh, she couldn't resist it.